students and welcome to the MLK scholarship application. I am going to give you a quick overview of it. So the first thing you want to want to do is you'll go to this MLK scholarship .com website. Uh, you can be directed directly through here through the tiny URL link or you may get there through the MLK scholarship website. First thing you want to do is create an account. Um, it's really important that you include your information in here that's updated for your email login uh, so that you can log back in at a later time. Once you've created your account, and I've created a, a test one over here I'm going to log in with, it's going to log you in, and it's going to take you to a page that will show the MLK scholarship, and it will say apply here. Um, mine I already started, uh, so when you come back in, once you log back in later, you can continue with the application. Uh, it's going to ask you one simple question, which is, are you a senior at School District of Lancaster? You're going to answer yes, and then you will be able to go through the application. So you want to click on continue with application or start application and you'll be taken to a page like this. Now again, the requirements, you've got to be a student of McCaskey, um, you've got to have a demonstrated financial need and have a minimum of a 2.5 GPA if you're attending Thaddeus Stevens and 3.0 for other institutions. Um, I will say for the demonstrated financial need, um, don't, if you're not sure about that, just apply. Um, every year there are students that uh, apply and they may not receive a Pell Grant and they're still able to receive the MLK scholarship. So definitely apply for it uh, kind of no matter what, as long as you meet the first and third requirements and there's some sort of uh, gap in your financial, in your college education. First section is applicant information, really basic, just basic information about you. I put in some sample data here. And when you're done, you're going to want to save and return to dashboard. And once you do that, you'll notice at the bottom, it'll track how complete this is. So this says 100% because all that information is set and done. Click on family information. Again, you'll see that. Any section that has uh, a, a star here and is in red in the middle is required information. So I'm just going to add uh, a, another person here. We'll say there's four people. Uh, li three people living in the household, and then you're going to have a so spot where you can list some information. Uh, each section is going to explain exactly what this should look like, um, and it will explain that here. And when you're done, you'll save and return to dashboard. So you'll notice now that it's up to 75% that's here. Academic information is going to include your counselor name, your GPA, uh, weighted and unweighted, uh, and it will, if you do, you know, if you put a six here for weighted, it's only going to let you do till five because that's the highest scale. Same for this, if you put a five in here for, un, for under unweighted, it's not going to let you do that. If you have the SAT or ACT, you do that as well. Indicate whether you fit in these categories. Uh, and then you'll see these are not listed as required, but you definitely want to do them. So uh, these are all, all sections that you definitely want to do. Um, you know, really, even if it says not required, you want to include it because the more information is going to be better for the application. Financial information. Here you're going to put in the name of your parent, their occupation, uh, their employer, and the total yearly income before taxes. Uh, so for example, uh, you can say uh, uh, parent one, uh, for example here it says nurse LGH $35,000. Uh, that's what you would want to do. You can do the name here as well um, uh, to clarify. Do the second for parent two. If not applicable, just put in NA. Uh, and then from your FAFSA form, provide your estimated family contribution. Once you're done, save and return. You can do the same thing with post-secondary plans. If you're going to live on at home, on campus, it's going to just up update that here, what you're planning to study, uh, all the institutions you've applied to, um, and a bunch of other information down here as well. Essay, you are going to upload your essay here. You can upload a PDF or a Word doc. Um, so definitely I would recommend work on that separately in a Google doc or something like that. And then when you're ready, you can upload it here and then save and return to the dashboard. A little bit more required information. Uh, these are those documents you need, like a transcript, a mid-year report card, letters of acceptance, financial aid award letters, things like that, um, which you can input there. And the last thing that we're really excited about, because this is new how it's set up this year, is the request section. This is your letters of recommendation. So if you click on that, and I already put in a couple samples here, um, you can click on letter of recommendation. Now, you need three. Two have to be from a teacher, a counselor, 
coach and one needs to be from an adult who knows you well can't be a family member um, and what you want to do is put in the name of that person um, we'll just say person three and the email address and I definitely recommend that you talk to this person beforehand so they're not surprised by this uh, and put in some of this additional information um, just indicating your name you know, say just just like a little note here um, you know thanks for agreeing uh, to submit a letter of recommendation. Then you're going to email request and you will actually see where it is in the process. So this is really important. Um, it's important that uh, you submit everything on your end and that the letters of recommendation are received by the due date. You can see if they have been submitted or not if you go back into this and it will say status received if the app if the letter of recommendation has been received it will say requested if it still it was sent to them but they haven't uploaded anything so check on that you know a week out from the application just to make sure that they did that and then if they haven't you can go bug those person people those counselors and everything you can do a quick look here you can see hundred percent of these have been requested 66.6% .6 have been received so far once you're done at any point, you can preview the application like this. It's going to show you a PDF of all the information you put in and the information you still need. This can be really helpful just to print out or just save so you know exactly what you need to work on. Um, and then finally, when you're done, you'll click Final Review and Submit. Now, this is not going to let me do this because I haven't completed all these sections. But that is the last thing you want to do to make sure you are good to go. If you have any questions, connect with the Future Ready Center, connect with a counselor, and they will be able to assist you. And uh, good luck with your application.